Today, I'm going to be trading every single team's best player in NHL 24. And how I'm going to do that? Well, we are going to go through the list of one of 32 teams. And I'm going to spin the wheel for every single one. Whatever team we land on, that is the team that they will be traded to for literally nothing. Absolute peanuts. They're not going to get anything in return. So basically, every team is just going to be losing their best player with the possibility of gaining another team's best player because the wheel is going to have every team on it. So no more McDavid in Edmonton. No more Matthews in Toronto. No more Crosby in Pittsburgh as all of these players are going to have a shot at a Stanley Cup with another team. And hopefully, we do see some super team form over the course of me trading all these players will be very interesting new and fresh to see so let's go ahead and start trading some players here so starting off on the anaheim ducks the best player is going to be troy terry and we are going to see where he's going to be traded to in this video and he will be heading to the st louis blues the murder capital of the usa Next up, we do have Clayton Keller of the Arizona Coyotes, and he's going to be joining the San Jose Sharks. That is a rough team to go to, buddy. Now we have the former 60-goal scorer in David Pasternak. He's a 95 overall, the best player on Boston, and he's going to be heading to the New York Islanders. Now we have Rasmus Dahlin of the Buffalo Sabres, and he is going to be joining... The Winnipeg Jets, a very interesting team to join. Next up is Rasmus Anderson of the Calgary Flames. Only an 87 overall. Technically, it could be Mackenzie Weger as well, but he's going to be joining Seattle Crack and the newest team in the NHL. For Carolina, we already know it's your mom's a ho, Sebastian Ajo, and he's going to be traded to the Los Angeles Kings. Now, obviously, for Chicago, it's Connor Bedard. Who else would it be? 86 overall, and he's going to be leaving and joining oh no he's gonna be joining the arizona coyotes and that goddamn college hockey rink next up is nathan mckinnon of the colorado avalanche might end up winning the heart trophy this season he's on a tear and he's gonna be joining also the seattle kraken now we have zach warensky of the columbus blue jackets and he is gonna be heading to the washington capitals actually yeah the washington i know he's gonna be heading to the vegas golden knights my bad for dallas it's gonna be none other than jason robertson and he is going to be heading to the chicago blackhawks Honestly, probably the worst team you could get on the wheel. Now, for the Red Wings, it's technically a tie between Patrick Kane and Dylan Larkin, but I am going to be trading Kane, and he is going to be heading to the Winnipeg Jets. Now, of course, next up, we obviously have Connor McDavid of the Edmonton Oilers, by far the best player in the entire world today, and he's going to be headed to the nation's capital of Ottawa, joining the Senators. Moving along, we have Matthew Kachuk of the Florida Panthers, 93 overall, and he is going to be joining the Seattle Kraken. So it looks like Seattle might be forming a bit of a super team here in the simulation. Next up is Anze Kobitar of the LA Kings. Technically, it is Sebastian Ajo, but I'm not going to trade him twice. So Kobitar is going to be heading to the New York Islanders. For Minnesota, obviously, it's going to be Kirill Kaprizov, by far the best player on that team, 92 overall, and he will be headed to the Detroit Red Wings. And we have the captain of the Montreal Canadiens in Nick Suzuki, 88 overall, and he is going to be joining also the Detroit Red Wings. So they are forming a very good team here. Next up, we have the absolute rocket. That is Roman Yossi, 93 overall. And he's going to be traded to the San Jose Sharks. Honestly, one of the worst teams you could get on the wheel. Now we have Jack Hughes of the New Jersey Devils. He is a 93 overall. And he's going to be joining the Seattle Kraken as they form a super team now that they have not only Jack Hughes but also Nathan McKinnon and Matthew Kachuk now we have Ilya Sorokin of the New York Islanders the first goalie that will be traded here and he is going to be headed to Carolina joining the Hurricanes now we have Artemi Panarin of the New York Rangers who somehow is up to a 95 overall which is kind of crazy honestly but he's going to be joining Connor McDavid in Ottawa I do not believe Breadman deserves a 95 especially how he ghosts in the playoffs pretty much every single year now for philadelphia technically it could be carter hart or travis konechny but because of everything going on i'm not choosing the guy who shall not be named it's going to be konechny and he's going to be joining the seattle kraken what is going on right now ah yes now we have come to the pittsburgh penguins and Sidney crosby and he is gonna no no please no please no why is the wheel literally rigged okay 
Thank God, Crosby is added to the San Jose Sharks, not the Seattle Kraken. Now, finally, for the Seattle Kraken, they are going to be losing Vince Dunn, and he is going to be joining the Washington Capitals. For St. Louis, it's going to be none other than Robert Thomas, 89 overall, and he will be joining the New York Rangers. Next up, we obviously have Nikita Kucherov from the Tampa Bay Lightning. He is now up to a 96 overall, which is definitely well-deserved, and he will be joining the New York Islanders, who have a pretty good team now they added Kucherov and David Pasternak to the roster now we have Austin Matthews of the Toronto Maple Leafs 94 overall and he will be joining the Chicago Blackhawks I mean hey I guess go have fun rotting out in Chicago next up we do have the captain of the Vancouver Canucks Quinn Hughes 94 overall and the team that he's going to be traded to is the Calgary Flames for the Vegas Golden Knights it's going to be Jack Eichel their newest addition he's a 91 overall obviously won the Stanley Cup last year and he's going to be joining the Toronto Maple Leafs. Next up we have the greatest goal scorer of all time in Alexander Ovechkin and he is going to be traded to the Detroit Red Wings. Very very interesting. And now finally for the Winnipeg Jets we do have Connor Hellebuck their starting goalie. Really their backbone of their team and he's going to be headed to Florida, joining the Panthers. All right, so now that we've traded every single team's best player, we are going to go ahead and do a simulation of it, of five full seasons. But before, I do want to check out the Seattle Kraken, because if I'm being honest, this is the team that I'm most excited to see how they perform in the simulation. They have guys like Travis Konechny, Matthew Kachuk, Nathan McKinnon, Jack Hughes. Already a pretty decent team overall. They didn't pick up, also, they did pick up Rasmus Anderson as a defenseman. So they have definitely improved their roster they might be the super team of this video so watch out for them but before we go ahead and simulate if you guys do enjoy videos like this make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more nhl content just like this make sure you turn on notifications so you do not miss a single live stream or video that i put out now at the end of the very first season somehow the colorado avalanche after losing nathan mckinnon are still going to be the best team in the entire nhl as they went 51 23 and 8 Followed by the Pittsburgh Penguins. Arizona was surprisingly very good. The Islanders are up there. Of course, Seattle. We got to watch out for them. They are going to be a problem to deal with. Ottawa is pretty good. They did pick up McDavid. Now, at the bottom, we do have the Florida Panthers. I mean, losing Matthew Kachuk will do that. San Jose was bad. Buffalo and Anaheim. Patrick Kane now on the Winnipeg Jets is going to end up leading the entire NHL in scoring with 111 points. Followed by Artemi Panarin's 109. McDavid had 108. Jack Eichel was up there. Kucherov had a pretty good season. Matthews had 106. Kaprizov, one hundo, Pasternak and Nylander now on the goal side. Connor Bedard on the Arizona Coyotes as a rookie is going to lead the NHL in scoring with 58 goals. Followed by Alex Dabrinkit's 51. Kucherov had 50. Jack Eichel was up there. Stammer had a very good season, 47 goals. Malkin had 46. Brock Besser, 42. Eric Carlson will lead all D-man in scoring. He had 20 goals and 97 points. Dougie Hamilton had 83. Kale McCarr, 83. Rasmus Dahlin was up there. Connor Inger is going to end up leading all goalies and wins with 42 on the Arizona Coyotes. Very weird, but I guess I'll take it. Vassy had 41. Laurent Brassois had 39. Now for the shutout side, Demko, Ingram, Brassois, Francois, Kemper, Samsonov, and Saros would all end up tying at five shutouts apiece. And here we go. This is our year number one playoff bracket, so let's see who goes on and makes the Stanley Cup Finals. And in the Stanley Cup Finals, we have the Edmonton Oilers without Connor McDavid up against the New York Islanders who do not have Ilya Sorokin. I honestly did not expect this Stanley Cup final matchup, but here we are. So let's see who goes on and is going to take home that Stanley Cup. And in year number one, the New York Islanders are going to get it done as they defeat the Oilers in five games in the finals. I mean, a team of Neil Matthew Barzell. I already had Barzell, obviously, but now they have David Pasternak and Nikita Kucherov. They did remove their starting goalie, but I mean... They didn't have enough offense to win it already in real life, adding two absolute studs like Kucherov and Pasternak to the team will definitely boost their offense, and it has led them to a Stanley Cup, their very first since I believe the 80s, as Pasta is going to win the Conn Smythe, 11 goals and 26 points for him, as the Stanley Cup sadly is going to have to be raised here in Edmonton as they did not get it done. I don't even know how they made the finals, to be honest. Here comes the Islanders captain, Andres Lee, coming to lift the Stanley Cup for the very first time in his career as the New York Islanders have gone all the way in year number one.
That is one patchy ass beard. Holy. Nail for the entire playoffs. Leon Dreisaitl is going to go off. 15 goals and 27 points. Pasternak at 26, obviously. Kucherov, 22 and 11 goals. Anthony Sorelli was up there. Barzell, Nick Paul had 20 and 8 goals. Connor McDavid's going to end up taking home the Ted Lindsay and the Hart Trophy, while the Art Ross will go to Patrick Kane and Maurice Richard to Connor Bedard. The Norris to Eric Carlson. Pasta will obviously win the Conn Smythe. UC Saros is going to take home that Vesna. And the Selkie will go to Austin Matthews, of all people. EA Sports is meat riding so hard right now. Now, at the end of the second season, the Vancouver Canucks are going to go ahead and finish as the best team in the regular season as they won 50 games. Seattle Seattle also won 50 games. Kind of disappointed in the playoffs, but they will have four more shots at a Stanley Cup here. Winnipeg won 48 games. LA was up there. Washington, the Rangers, the Islanders, who are the defending champs. Now, at the bottom, we do have St. Louis, Anaheim, and Columbus. Miko Rantanen is going to go ahead and lead the entire NHL in scoring with 109 points, followed by Kucherov's 101. Jason Robertson had 101. Elias Pettersson was up there. One hundo. Braden Point. JT Miller. Kaprizov. Not a lot of 100-point scores in the NHL. Only four this season, which, I mean, in real life, we'll see way more than that. On the goal side, Matthews is going to lead with 53, followed by Kyle Connors, 52. Rantanen had 52. Kucherov. 50. Max Pacioretty had 49. Brock Besser was up there. Trevor Zegras had 45 on the season. For defensemen, Kale McCarr is going to dominate. 23 goals, 94 points. Dougie Hamilton had 78. Victor Hedman, 74. Carlson, 71. Cam Talbot's going to lead all goalies and wins with 44. Shesterkin at 39. Demko, 37 on the shutout side. Connor Hellebuck, who is now on the Florida Panthers, is going to lead with 9 on the season. Now, in the playoffs, this is our matchups that we have for year number 2. And in the stand Stanley Cup Finals, we yet again have the New York Islanders, but this time they're up against the Winnipeg Jets. They're already leading 1-0 in the series. Don't mind that. Let's see if the Islanders can go on and maybe create a dynasty starting off with back-to-back -back titles in this video. And the New York Islanders are going to do it as they go back-to-back, -back, winning their second straight Stanley Cup of the video. They dominated Winnipeg in five games in the finals, only losing two games in the finals the past two seasons. And maybe we have a new dynasty on our hands here. I thought it was going to be the Seattle Kraken. I thought that was our super team. I thought it was set in stone. But maybe all along, it was the New York Islanders lurking in the shadows as they are going to win their second cup already in the video. Two for two. Kucherov is going to take home the Conn Smythe. Oh my God, he had 21 goals and 39 points. I mean, in real life, he's very dominant in the postseason as well. So I shouldn't be that surprised as the Stanley Cup is going to be raised in Winnipeg but for the New York Islanders instead as their captain Andres Lee is going to come selective for the second straight season as the New York Islanders are one Stanley Cup away from being a dynasty in this video so congratulations to them Nikita Kucherov obviously is going to lead the entire playoffs in goal scoring with 21 and points with 39. Pasternak had 37 points. Barzell, 31. Kopitar was up there with 23. Patrick Kane had 22, also 12 goals, so a very good postseason by him. Miko Rantanen is going to take on the Ted Lindsay, Art Ross, and Hart Trophy. Matthews is going to take home that Maurice Richard. The Norris will go to Kale McCarr. Kucherov will win the Conn Smythe. Aiden Hill is going to end up winning the Vesna as the Selkie for the second straight season. For some reason, is going to go to Austin Matthews. At the end of season number three, of course, the EA had to slot in the Tampa Bay Lightning as they are going to finish as the best team in the entire league, going 55, 25, and 2. Followed by the Edmonton Oilers, who have been surprisingly good throughout the simulation. Detroit was up there. Ottawa, Vancouver, Winnipeg, Seattle. Where are the New York Islanders? They would end up finishing 12th. A pretty respectable record. I mean, 44, 34, and 4 is not bad. Jason Robertson's going to end up leading the NHL in scoring with 119 points. Followed by Austin Matthews, who had 118. McDavid had 109, obviously on the Ottawa Senators. Kucherov was up there. Jack Hughes had a pretty good season. Panarin had 106. Kaprizov, 105. Now for goals, Bedard again is going to lead this time with 62 on the season, followed by Jason Robertson's 52. Kucherov at 51. McKinnon was up there at 50. Ranton in 50. Kaprizov, 48. Kale McCarr is going to lead all defensemen in points with 86, followed by Eric Carlson's 83. Quinn Hughes at 72. Dougie Hamilton, 68. Vassie is going to have the most wins by any goalie 
with 47, followed by Stuart Skinner's 44, Vili Husso had 38, and Nail for shutouts. Connor Hellebuck and Tristan Jari are each going to tie at six apiece. And yet again, here we are. This is our bracket for the playoffs in year number three. And now in the Stanley Cup Finals, we have the Colorado Avalanche up against the Ottawa Senators, who do have Connor McDavid, so very interesting he has led them to a finals appearance. It would also end up dominating the two-time Stanley Cup champs in the Islanders and five games in the Conference Finals. So let's see if they can go on and win the Stanley Cup here in year number three. And somehow the Colorado Avalanche, even without their best player in Nathan McKinnon, are going to go on and win the Stanley Cup here in year number three as they defeat the Ottawa Senators in, I believe, six games. It was somewhat of a close series. I mean, they were up 3-1. They kind of dominated the early games. But I'm just so curious how Colorado can dominate this well, even without Nathan McKinnon. Like, they don't even need him to go on and win a Stanley Cup, which is really, really crazy. As Miko Rantanen is going to take on the con Smythe, 21 goals and 37 points for him. As Colorado gets another Stanley Cup with this loaded roster that they have. And there it is, a Stanley Cup about to be raised in the Mile High City. Blaze it up, light the joint, here we go! As I'm sure a lot of the players are going to be joining the Mile High Club as Gabriel Landeskog is coming to lift the Stanley Cup for the second time in his career as Colorado has won it all here in year number three. Now, of course, Rantanen is going to lead the playoffs in goals with 21 and points with 37, followed by Kale McCarr, who had 30, McDavid at 29, Landy 28, Breadman 28, Devon Taves was up there as well as Claude Giroux who had 8 goals and 19 points. Jason Robertson is going to take on the Ted Lindsay, Art Ross, and Hart Trophy. Bedard is going to win the Maurice Richard, the Norris, the Kale McCarr, the Con Smythe to Rantanen. Stuart Skinner is somehow going to win the Vesna as the Selkie again is going to go to Matthews. Now at the end of year number 4, the Winnipeg Jets are going to go ahead and win the regular season, I guess the President's Trophy race as they won 56 games. Followed by the New York Islanders, who were somewhat maybe a dynasty. I don't know, only two Stanley Cups. The Red Wings won 54. Toronto was up there. Buffalo, Ottawa was very good. At the bottom, we have the Calgary Flames, Minnesota Wild, and Vegas Golden Knights. Austin Matthews is going to go ahead and lead the entire NHL in scoring with 118 points. Followed by Robertson's 113. Jack Hughes had 111 now in Seattle. They have been very quiet throughout the entire video. Patrick Kane had 106. Johnny Hockey, 104. Ethan McKinnon had a good season. Nail for the goals in the NHL. McKinnon will lead with 51, followed by Pasta and Robertson, who had 50. Patrick Kane at 47. Ranton was up there. Line A, 47. Brock Besser, 45. For defenseman, Eric Carlson is going to lead. 23 goals, 97 points. Kale McCarr had 88. Dalene, 87. Vili Husso is going to have the most wins by a goalie with 46, followed by Laram Brassois, who had 44. Now on Winnipeg, as uh, Connor Hallebuck is not their starter. He got traded, obviously. Shesterkin at 40. Nail for shutouts. Gustafson is going to lead with six. And here we go yet again. This is our Stanley Cup playoff bracket. Let's see who goes on and advances to the Stanley Cup Finals. And in the Stanley Cup Finals, we have the highly anticipated matchup between the Colorado Avalanche and the New York Islanders. Both of these teams have so far taken home every single Stanley Cup of the video. Obviously, the Islanders started off with two straight, and then last season it was Colorado. So let's see who goes on here in year number four and is going to take home the Stanley Cup at the end of the season. And the New York Islanders have done it again as they defeat the Colorado Avalanche in five games in the Stanley Cup Finals. They go on and win their third Stanley Cup of the video so far to cementing themselves as a dynasty now in the 2020s as they not only defeated the only other team to win it so far in the video, but they've also won three out of the four Stanley Cups. And we still have one year to go, so possibly they could get four of the five. Noah Dobson is going to go ahead and take home the con Smythe, three goals and 23 points. I'm surprised it was not Pasta or Nikita Kucherov. But Noah Dobson in real life is having a very good season. As here we go, yet again, the Stanley Cup being raised in the Mile High City, but not for the Avalanche as the Islanders come in and steal it. As Andres Lee comes again, pause, but he's going to come again and lift the Stanley Cup for the third time in his career. And the third time in the video as the New York Islanders are yet again Stanley Cup champions. 
Now for the playoffs, Miko Rantanen is going to have 13 goals and 27 points. He did not end up winning. Uh, well, he didn't even win the Stanley Cup. What am I saying? But Nikita Kucherov at 26. Kale McCarr had 24. Anze Kopitar was up there at 24. Devon Taves, 23. No, I completely forgot that the Islanders do have Anze Kopitar as well. That's actually incredibly interesting. I don't know why I never saw them as a potential super team in this video. They do have a lot of good players they picked up. Austin Matthews is going to take on the Ted Lindsay, Art Ross, and Hart Trophy, while the Maurice Richard's going to go to McKinnon, the Norris to Eric Carlson, the Con Smythe, of course, to Noah Dobson. Vili Huso is going to win the Vesna, and the Selkie again is going to go to Austin Matthews. I feel like EA just chooses like one random player, then he wins it every single season. Now for the fifth and final season, the New York Islanders, who have already won three Stanley Cups, are going to dominate the regular season, going 57, 19, and 6, followed by the Winnipeg Jets. The Ottawa Senators are up there. Colorado's always good and dangerous. David Pasternak is going to go ahead and lead the NHL in goal scoring with 57 goals and points with 116, followed by Kucherov, who had 112. Nathan McKinnon had 106. Kaprizov, 104. Bradman was up there. Patrick Kane had a good season with 101. On the goal side, other than Pasternak, Rantanen had the most at 55, followed by Kyle Connors, 47. Line A had 46. Kaprizov, 46. Bedard was up there with 44. Eric Carlson, again, is going to lead all D-man in scoring. 87 points. He's pretty much dominated. Dalene has 83. Quinn Hughes, 79. Makara, only 75 and 13 goals. Simeon Varlamov is going to lead all goalies and wins with 41, followed by Markstrom's 39. Demko had 38. And now for the shutouts, Vanacek is going to lead with eight. Darcy Kemper did have seven, though, so he played very well. Also had better stats than Vanacek, so maybe he'll end up winning the Vesna. And here we go. This is our fifth and final playoff run of the video. Will Seattle finally wake up? Will the New York Islanders win their fourth Stanley Cup of the video? Let's go ahead and let's find out. And in the Stanley Cup finals, we yet again have the New York Islanders, this time up against the Winnipeg Jets. Seattle was so close to making the finals, but they couldn't get it done. The Islanders are already up 1-0 again. My simulation skills have been very poor throughout this video but let's see who goes on and takes home the Stanley Cup and the New York Islanders are going to get it done yet again dominating the Winnipeg Jets in the finals in five games to go on and win their fourth Stanley Cup of the video they literally won four out of the five years I thought it was going to be Seattle I was so sure of it but I guess the underestimated New York Islanders are going to do it creating the super team in the NHL winning four out of the five Stanley Cups and I mean kind of like they did in the 80s they won four straight in the 80s this time four and five years past is going to take home the con smite 12 goals and 26 points as they are going to finally win the stanley cup on home ice for i believe the first time in the video every other win was on the road so i guess that's good that's a plus and here comes andres lee for the fourth time in the video lifting the stanley cups as the new york islanders are officially a dynasty here in nhl 24 Nikita Kucherov is going to lead the NHL in scoring for the playoffs. 13 goals and 27 points, followed by Pastas, 26. Nathan McKinnon had 26. Jack Hughes, 26. Dabrinka was up there. Kopitar had a good playoff run. Kaprizov had 21. David Pasternak is going to take home all the major individual awards. Rasmus Dahlin is going to win the Norris. The Conn Smythe, of course, also to Pasta. The Vezda to Darcy Kemper. And the Selkie is going to go to Austin Matthews for five years in a row. And that is going to do it for this video. We have gone ahead and traded every single franchise's best player to a new team in hopes of forming a super team in the NHL. And we literally accomplished that here with the New York Islanders. Literally by accident, I didn't even know they were going to be this good and this dominant. I thought maybe it would be Seattle. They were loading up, honestly. But the Islanders snuck up and they won four out of the five Stanley Cups in the simulation. So that's one of the best simulations I'd ever seen a team do i would like to say thank you all for watching let me know in the comments below what videos you would like to see next and always remember don't be silly wrap your willy